The Lightning dropped the first game of the Stanley Cup final in overtime last night against the Avalanche. And now the Bolts get two days off to correct their mistakes and get ready for game two. And ABC Action News sports anchor Kyle Berger joins us from Denver where there's no panic in this Lightning team. The Lightning have dropped the series opener for the third time during the Stanley Cup playoffs, but yet they're still playing hockey. That's why there's no panic with this veteran team and their head coach, John Cooper. It's about winning series. It's not about winning game one. Uh, we've also started on the road for all four series. So uh, the fact that you know we've won one of them is kind of a bonus on our side, but it's about winning the series. Looking back at game one, the Bolts looked a step slower than the Avalanche, falling behind 3-1 to one in the first period against a team that finished with the best record in the Western Conference. Everyone in that room agrees um, we could have executed better. Uh, it wasn't an effort thing. It was an execution thing and our details in our game need to be a hell of a lot better for going to take this team out. Tampa Bay got better as the game went on, scoring a pair of second period goals 48 seconds apart before giving up the game winner two minutes into overtime. Yeah, I think it's just for us, it's got to be more of a, a 60 minute effort. They um, they're going to have, you know, their flurries where they're going to be playing really well, where their offensive players are going to be dynamic. But it's about not letting that lead into a couple shifts. It's just, you know, one shift or one opportunity and we have to stop there. With two days off between games one and two, head coach John Cooper said when you lose a game in overtime, you almost want to get out there and play the next night. But the Bolts will have to wait until Saturday at 8 o'clock. Covering the Stanley Cup final in Denver, Kyle Berger, ABC Action News.